Thanks for clicking on this video. My name's Darren and this is Electro Savvy, where I talk about electricity, tools, and tech. Today, we're gonna go through a switched outlet. I've installed many of them over the years. You get to use an outlet till its fullest potential. Once you figure this one out, you're gonna have switched outlets all over the house. But we're gonna dive a little deeper into it. We're gonna get a little closer and I'm gonna show you all about it. Let's get into it. This light should come on and this lamp should come on. So what I've got here is two 15 amp outlets. They look different because they're from different manufacturers. They both do the same things. Switching outlets, the top is going to be switched and the bottom is going to have continuous power. And I'm going to do that on both of these. On the brass side, what you want to do is break this tab. Let me get up a little closer. You see this little brass tab? You have to break this and separate these two terminals. It's going to share the neutral, so you don't have to break that. This outlet will be switched on and off, and this one would be continuous power, like a normal outlet that you would plug into the wall, right here on this one, and break that in half. And then this one, you would have to break that one in half. So let's go ahead and do it because I'm going to switch both of these. So this one looks pretty easy. They are to be ashamed of themselves for that one. So you just grab it like that. Yeah, it just broke right off. So once that's separated, like I said, now this can be continuous power and this can be switched as a switch leg. Let's see if this one's going to be that easy. It's a lot more beefier looking. That didn't do shit because it's still connected. Yeah, they built this one too good. All right, guys, so I got both the tabs broken on the outlets. First off, ground is always green, and you can see it's grounded to this chassis frame here of the outlet. So that is the ground. And then you have a set of brass screws and a set of silver screws. And the silver screws is for the neutral wire. And you can see it right here. They have it labeled neutral wire. This is for your hot side. That's where your black wire is gonna go. Other than that, you know, there's a, if you're not sure about stripping the length out on your copper, this right here is a little wire gauge that got stamped into this plastic. All right. Let's go wire this thing. Let me show you this custom lighting circuit. All right, so this custom circuit I'm talking about, we're gonna have a single pole switch here. I'm gonna have a receptacle here. I'm gonna have a receptacle here. And I'm gonna have a receptacle here. I'm also gonna have a light that's gonna come on with the switched outlets. So the switched outlets and the light is going to be on the same lighting circuit. Let's get started. All right, guys. So what we have here is the hot that's coming in. So this is the 14-2. This is it coming in right here. And this is the three conductor coming in right here. And I've got that separated. The neutrals are twisted together and the grounds are twisted together and bonded, leaving one black wire left. And I have to make a pigtail with this because this is gonna be continuous hot that's being sent down to the outlet. This red wire I'm using for the light tail.
wire nut. All right, since these neutrals are already made up, I'm just gonna stick a wire nut on it. I'll use a yellow. Starting with the ground. And it's okay if you wanna close in that ground like that. And make sure your hooks are going clockwise. All right, I always start with the hot. Go ahead and hook that on. Go ahead and do this switch leg while I'm at it. Grab the screw gun. All right, so we got the first switch in. Let's move on down to the first switched outlet. All right, so on this side, what I've got is both of the three conductors separated. We've got the Grounds already twisted up, and here's the grounding wire nut. Let's go ahead and screw this down. I'll go ahead and screw this down and get this out of the way. So I've got these wires separated, and these are the neutrals that belong to each Romex. And we're gonna make pigtails on all of this. Okay, now we can wire this outlet. I'm gonna do the neutrals first. I'm gonna torque this down because we don't need it. And if uh, y'all are wondering what kind of tip this is, this is a C1. It's kind of like a square and a flathead in all in one. It's really cool. You know, a flathead grabs really good. Push them neutrals as far back as you can get. All right, so this is the part that you gotta decide on which spot on this duplex do you want to have continuous power I would always run the bottom being the continuous power and I'm gonna make the top part the switch leg black is my continuous power I made it up in that switch box so I'm gonna loop this on the bottom now this red is my switch leg I'm gonna put that right there and I've got my tabs broken. Uh, 
Yeah, that's nice and snug. That one's done. Okay, first we're gonna start with these grounds. Grounding wire nut for this. I really love those. Get that out the way. Now let's start with the neutrals. All right, so we got the neutrals out the way. Let's go ahead and get the continuous hot. All right, same thing with this light tail. This is the actual light tail that's going to the light up there. And this is the switch leg from the switch. But we wanna have another switched outlet and a continuous power outlet. So we have to make another pigtail. And by doing this, when we put that under a wire nut, the light tail will be part of the switch leg. All right, that one's done. All right, so we got one last wire to do. This one already was made up, so it's gonna make it that much more easy on me. But anyway, that is it. We've got it all wired and now we can test it out.
I've turned the breaker on and I've just checked the receptacle and it has a beautiful 124. So I just pulled a lamp from my bedroom and let's go ahead and test this out. So when I flip this switch, this light should come on and this lamp should come on. Look at there. So that is why you would want to have a switched outlet in your home. Some of them have the floor outlets and stuff. When they want to have like a lamp table next to their couch or a sitting area and they want to flip on a switch from the wall and turn lamps on. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty fancy. Um, I've always liked that idea and it, it's always uh, worked well. So what we got here is a switched outlet and I basically made this outlet and this outlet a switched outlet. Now this one is just continuous power. So if I pull this lamp out, I can plug it in anywhere on this duplex. I just plug it up to the top. Now I'm plugging it in the bottom. The lamp will stay on the entire time. If I hit this switch, if I plug into the bottom of this outlet, because I wired the bottom of this outlet to be continuous power. So I can turn this light on, the light will come on, but when I turn the light off, the lamp still stays lit because it's continuous power. Well guys, that is about it. That's the custom lighting circuit that I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you like the content that was in this video uh, covering a switched outlet. I had a few people ask me about it and I just wanted to do a video on it and I hope anyone out there that finds this video that it could help you on your way to installing your switched outlets. I want to thank the subscribers. Uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel and look guys if uh, if you're new to this channel and you like the content that you're seeing and you, you're getting value out of this, these videos smash that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave a comment i'm darren this is electro savvy and i'll see you in the next video